Welcome to my basement. My Ender 3 Pro 3D printer has served me well for many years. But uh, lately it's been struggling a bit, uh, or I have been struggling to level the bed and I've only been able to level half the bed, meaning that uh, print volume has been reduced uh, dramatically. So in this episode I thought I would do a full upgrade. Let's uh, dive in! So yeah, this time I thought I would do something different and uh, that is to use magic. Yeah, not bad. Almost success. There we go. And let's even finish the first print. Which is a really good benchy actually. So yeah, I guess when they uh, put the benchy in as the example print you should try uh, on the first go, they are pretty confident that the result will be good. I'm super happy with the new printer. I've been printing for five days uh, straight now and uh, only one print has failed and that was uh, due to a clogged nozzle. Uh, I used some old uh, PET G filament but uh, that was uh, pretty easily sorted and uh, I was able to get back to printing pretty fast. And I also like the AMS unit uh, that enables me to load uh, four different colors of filament uh, at the same time. Uh, using my old printer I could only load one filament and it was uh, so much work to change that I basically just ran the whole spool uh, until it was empty and then changed. But now I can change the color between every print. It's that easy. The printer is faster, it heats up much faster, and uh, it also levels the bed automatically, which is a lot better than adjusting the bed manually yourself. It uh, also has a time-lapse uh, functionality. I was uh, not able to enable that on the first print, but uh, I've tested it out uh, on later prints and uh, yeah. It works pretty good. The image quality is not the best. I knew that when I bought the printer. It's uh, good enough for short, uh, small time-lapse videos, I guess, but uh, yeah, not super duper quality there. I'm not going to do a full review or a setup tutorial on this printer because there are many videos online that do exactly that. I'll leave some in the video description if you want to check this printer out. What I will do is uh, start uh, printing some parts for my next project. If you like uh, videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe and I do hope to see you next time.